Hello and welcome to this video presentation of eBank Reconciliation for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. eBank Reconciliation is uh, essentially a system that will allow you to download a statement from your bank and automatically reconcile it against your books. It will save you a ton of time when you're reconciling your bank. Download the statement, click a button, and it automatically reconciles. What you're left with uh, are entries that it couldn't find a match for. And we have a user interface that's super easy to use and you can reconcile in minutes, not hours. We also allow adjustments to the reconciliation to be posted straight on the page where you're doing the rest of the reconciliation. And eBank reconciliation fuels productivity. It's just an example where you can see up here are all the matched entries here at the top and down here you have the entries that you just need to match and you see we already started to do some matching. But let's take a look at the, the setup that you have for eBank and then let's do a reconciliation. So let's go to the bank accounts to take a look at the file format setup. Go to the checking account, go to eBank setup. And this is where we define the import file from the bank. The matching, uh, we match by document number and amount. And then if we can't find that combination, we will just do amount only. You can also force it to match by document number and the amount. And if we won't find it, we won't have a match. We use a comma as the separator. It's a comma separated file. And we're ignoring the first line. It's the header line. So we just specify here how many lines we'd like to ignore. Then we have the columns. We have a date, document number, description, and amount. And the rest of them are blank. And so we have a couple of options here other than the ones you've seen, like we have a debit and credit also. And so it depends on how the bank is sending out the statement that we would just have to uh, change this format accordingly. So let's go and do a reconciliation. Searching for eBank. So this one started here. Statement date we have to provide. The balance of the last statement being pulled from the bank account card in Business Central. Statement ending balance is something we will get from the bank. So we click Reconcile and we import and match. And I'm going to load the file from the bank. So if we look under matched entries, we will see all the entries that it could automatically match. There are nine or 10 of them. If we want to, we can unmatch them. That's something that is definitely possible if something is not right. Uh, we do have a difference in days here that could indicate if, uh, an issue if the days are very far apart from the bank and the book entry. But usually there's not a lot to be, do, be done here. Instead, we need to uh, handle the non-matches. So we have no matches from books. This is from the bank uh, ledger inside of Business Central. These entries are coming from. And this over here are the non-matches from the bank. Uh, the statement that we downloaded. So the goal here is to get all these no matches to go away. And uh, we will usually still have some entries over here from the books, but that's perfectly fine. So let's start and do some matching. So we start by clicking edit up here so that we can check these boxes. And I see the 75,000 and this over here, so it looks like 75,000 also. I'm just gonna try and check these here. And I'll notice that they are the same, so I like to match those. I click over here on matches and I click match. As soon as I do that, you'll notice down here in the manual matched area that this entry came 
uh, after we matched. And so if I wanted to unmatch it, uh, I could do that and the interest will move back. The next thing I notice is uh, these two entries here. There's a credit and a debit for the same amount with some days between. What we call this is an internal match. An internal match is something that's unrelated related to the bank. It's something that we internally did on our bank account in Business Central. So I'll click on internal match. And these two entries move down here. The next thing I see is there's a wire fee of $45 here on the bank that we only registered 30 so we need to register an additional $15 and we can do that under adjustments. So we'll notice the date here is 825, same over here, and we need to add another $15. So I do 825 here. It's a bank fee. Let's just start typing. Um, it's a correction, additional wire fee, and I put $15. And then under actions here, I click post. So it posted the transaction and the additional wire fee has now moved up here. And I can check and now I can just do the match. Last thing we need to match is this one and it looks like we made a typo of some kind. Uh, 87 cents became 78 cents here. So we need to find out what it is and we need to post that. And so we can do an, another adjustment and it's 9 cents difference. So I'm just going to do that here. I'm going to 831, which was the date, and I'm going to use this account. It's probably not commissions, but uh, anyway, correction two, and it's a nine cent difference, and it's a minus. It's a credit to the GL account and a debit to the bank. So I will go and post this also. And the nine cents came here. And now we can do the match. And we're done. This one over here is now empty. And we don't have to uh, deal with anything else. These here we can't match and they are just gonna be suggested uh, the next month when we're doing the reconciliation. So we'll just leave this reconciliation and we come back here. We can actually see quite a few things here. First of all, we can see we can see the balance of all the automatic matched entries, and I can even drill down to them and take a look at them. We also can see the manual matches. We have uh, adjustments, balance adjustments, so that should be zero. We can't have any adjustments, they need to be posted. Then we have non-matched entries here. And the last thing we have here is the difference, should be zero. We can't post the, adjust, uh, the reconciliation unless the adjustments is zero. And we can't have any difference, obviously. We also see what was outstanding. So outstanding checks, those are checks that we couldn't match. And we have outstanding deposits. So it's just for our information. And once we're done with all this, we can just click post reconciliation and go back to the bank here. We can look at the posted reconciliations for the bank. And this was the one. And so we have all the details here, what was cleared and what wasn't cleared. And we can print it. So we'll just take a look at how that print looks. Just gonna preview it. Zoom in a little bit. 
so we can see what's going on. So we have a, a summary here at the top, and then we have the checks that were matched, part of the reconciliation. We have the deposits, we have the outstanding checks, and the outstanding deposits. So that's it. That's the reconciliation from start to finish. And this concludes this demo of eBank reconciliation from Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. If you like to try out the app, you can download it from Business Central and try it out for free for 30 days. Check out if you like it. Uh, there's uh, some demo data that you can actually create so you can do the reconciliation we just did here in this presentation. So let's stay connected. Check us out at simcrest.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Thanks for listening in and watching this video.